King Charles's short fuse exposed again as he throws remote at TV when watching BBC News. As King Charles undergoes medical treatments this week, veteran royal watcher Robert Jobson opens up on why the monarch won't slow down for long. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. King Charles gets frustrated over Penn in 2022. King Charles would often throw the TV remote at the screen whilst watching the news, a royal author has revealed. The monarch, who's due for an enlarged prostate operation this week, has made several headlines through the years over his short temper and now a royal author has given an insight into what Charles is really like behind the scenes. Royal biographer Robert Jobson claimed that while the monarch is known for his perfectionism, fiery temper and eccentricity, ever since he's taken the role of the monarch, his humanity and warmth have shone through. Jobson characterized the monarch as obsessive but also complex, saying, the king can be obsessive, a little eccentric, and he does have a short fuse. While watching the BBC News on television, he would often end up throwing the remote control at the screen out of frustration. Infamously, the monarch made headlines back in 2022 over his frustration with a leaky fountain pen. Charles was captured on video becoming increasingly irritated during the signing of a ceremonial booklet at Northern Ireland's Hillsborough Castle after he accidentally used the wrong date. The author went on to say that the king's complexity is what makes him so interesting. He said, Charles is complex. And it is his character, that of a man who admits to getting carried away by enthusiasm in his bid to try to improve things, not just his position in society and royal status, that makes him interesting to write about. When Charles became king, there were fears that he would be the meddling kind. He has certainly pushed the constitutional boundaries. However, from the moment he took that role, after being seen in tears at the Queen's funeral, seemingly with the weight of the world on his shoulders, he has been characterized by his humanity and warmth. The author, and former Daily Express royal correspondent, added that whilst Charles may be expected to take time to recuperate from his surgery, he won't be leaving any of his business behind. He explained, from the moment he arrived at Buckingham Palace the day before his coronation and got out of the car for a walkabout when someone embraced him, and said God save the king, a very touching moment, everyone warmed to him. But he was never going to be a carbon copy of the Queen. He sees himself as being able to make a difference and he is not afraid to speak out on issues such as the environment. His first year as King has so far been characterized by a sense of urgency, he knows he has a limited time to achieve. Jobson, who broke the world exclusive revealing the engagement of Charles and Camilla in 2000, and five and won a prestigious London Press Club Award for his scoop, is the author of two biographies of Charles, the second of which has just been published. Jobson's book, King Charles III, The Leadership and Vision of a Modern Monarch is a lavish, coffee-table-style book that celebrates his long career as king-in-waiting, and features photographs by veteran royal photographer Arthur Edwards MBE.